Yes, I'm wearing shorts and I'm a small YouTuber. I mean, I would start off by introducing myself and tell you my name, but nobody cares because I'm a small YouTuber. You know, the most comprehensive advice I've seen online about growing your channel comes from a girl called Jenny Hoyos, but she only specifies mostly in YouTube shorts. And I mean, Mr. Beast tried as well. You can look online. Shout you can just out, Mr. Beast. Google or type the video title that says Mr. Mr. Beast tricks for YouTubers for small channels. And you'll see something. Yeah, he does give four or five points, but the rest of you out there, <laughs> man, most of the stuff is generic. You know? I've worked on my thumbnails. I really did. I've worked on my titles. I mean, you guys can check out the rest of my channel. Granted, some of the stuff is low quality but you know it's trial and error like they said but i've tried you know i have channels that are short sorry i have videos that are short i have videos that are long both long-term and short-term content you know being a small channel and a small youtuber and being in youtube hell in small channel hell sucks you know <laughs> you feel like you genuinely suck like all your videos do suck but i do understand that it's the algorithm and that's how the algorithm works. It's not people saying that you suck, but if your channel is small and you don't have views and so much engagement and so forth, then you will just won't get pushed, you know? So for anyone out there who has like a medium sized channel, can you help us? Can you help us the small YouTubers who are stuck in YouTube hell? <laughs> you know, it's frustrating, you know? In fact, I've seen so many videos of people with uh, medium channels or bigger channels, you know, trying to help, you know, Please. at the end they sell you something or, you know. So sad. But I've never seen a channel or a video of a small channel like mine, a small YouTuber who's stuck in YouTube hell, crying out for help. Welcome. For, you know, um, no, those are no tears. <laughs> You know, for pointers, you know, in real time, whether they be in comments, whether they be in whatever, you know, what's wrong with my channel? Is it the names of the videos? Is it the thumbnails? Granted, yeah, uh, the sound is a bit off on some of them, you know, which brings me to another point. I saw a video on uh, TikTok today. It was by a lady called Jocelyn something. You know, basically she's Mexican and she has the most viral video on TikTok at the moment. And my boy, that video does deserve to go viral because the quality there is like something that's being produced by a movie house. You know what I mean? She has sound, she has lights, she has everything, you know, everything I don't. But I mean, I'm not saying I'm lazy or anything like that. Yeah, I want to grow the channel. I mean, at some point, I've been on YouTube for a while. If you can go back and see my first video has over a hundred. By the way, I'm looking into the top left hand corner. The boys are in, like I said, I'm pulling that shoes. 134,000 views, you know? But then that was when I just got introduced to, you know, basically the internet and YouTube and so forth. That was in 2014. I know that's about eight years too late, but hey, we all start somewhere, right? These are the confessions of a small YouTuber. We get frustrated. You know, we make videos after video just for no one to watch them, for no views in there, you know? I remember there was a time when I had like 27 subscribers. Man, I was over the moon. I was really happy. And then I saw that number grow to like 50 subscribers. I wasn't even thinking about things like your monetization or anything like that. No ways. I didn't even get to that stage yet, you know. I was just happy to see the numbers grow and I was surprised, you know. But yeah, uh, just so you guys know out there, we get really frustrated. You know, sometimes, you know what's one of the worst? Is when you actually edit a video, you know, when you've actually, you know... Um, drawn down your storyboard and everything like that, you know, everything's been jotted down in your notebook and the editing and the whole process takes sometimes even up to a day or two days, 48 hours. I remember I had a video like that once. I believe this was the one talking about um, 
the colonial period in Jakarta and then followed by the one in the DRC Congo. Basically, I was focused on history videos and so forth because I'm a history buff at some point, right? And it took about two days for me to edit those videos. And guess what? The views on that were like 10, 10 views for like a month. Man, I lost my mind. I was like, what? Should I quit? Should I give up? But then, yes, those views did increase and they both went to over 100 views. Now, the videos are both, I think, like seven months old or something like that. But, I mean, they could have done a whole lot better, yeah? But still, I didn't give up, you know. I continued making videos because this is what I like to do, you know. I'm a creator at heart, you know what I mean? I really do believe that... Uh, Without invention, without creating new things and, you know, getting out there. I mean, life is just dull. Life is in black and white. You know what I mean? And yeah, but I'm still there. My channel is still as small as ever. Not even monetized. In fact, you need about, what, uh, 4,000 hours, I believe, and 240,000 minutes. So that is, or at least 10 million views if you're having uh, short videos, you know, like YouTube shorts. And I've got none of those and I'm far away from that. But I won't give up. And therefore, this is also a message to whoever is starting a YouTube channel, whether you started it last year or this year, wherever you are, or thinking about it, or, if, or even if you're a small YouTuber. Don't give up. Just try to learn from those who have done it. Um, you are going to have to put in some work, definitely, you know. So first things first is you're going to look up videos that help small channels to grow. And then you're going to sort out the common denominators and see what works for you and then eventually you are also going to have to invest in it like myself you know i really have to get a proper mic i have a mic i got off amazon but i mean it was a, a little cheap and uh, it doesn't work that well you know it sounds like i'm speaking in a box so right now as you can see i'm not even using a mic and my suit is rented i did this just for you guys you know but shout out to my small YouTubers out there. Uh, never give up. I mean, and that's if it's something that you want to do. And don't do it just for solely getting money ties and money and everything. It should be something that you like to do. I mean, I yep on the daily. You know, I've got a PhD in yepology. So I love to speak. I love to talk, you know, and on specific topics. But I love uh, deep talks. You know what I mean? As you can see from the rest of my videos over here. So anyway, if you are here... At this moment, I'll just ask for you to please scroll through my channel and see what stands out to you. Just leave a comment and let me know what's up. You know what I mean? And for those of you who are wondering, you know, what's going on underneath the hat, you know, this guy's so good looking and everything. Well, I'm bold. It's stress. Small channel hell. Thank you.